Hello, this is Conan Elliott and I'm Director of Instruction here at Camas Meadows Golf Club in Camas, Washington. Today we're going to talk about how to break in new golf clubs. And the materials we need today would be a new golf club or a set of new golf clubs. Well, there's not much to do to break in golf clubs. They're ready to play when you get them, except for the thickness, the sharpness of that groove. The groove on the golf club right here, when it's brand new, often when you strike your golf ball, it'll actually shave little bit of slight pieces of the golf ball off, and you'll see little white specks or little white shavings left on your, sh on your club. It's actually a good thing in the fact that it's spinning the ball very good for you, so the ball's going to hold the green when you hit the green. But if you don't like that, you don't like shaving that little bit off, you can actually take your clubs to the, to the sand trap or the bunker and just hit, oh, maybe four or five, six, seven swings with each club in the sand. You don't have to hit a ball if you don't want. You could but you don't have to. It's a matter of getting that sand to smooth that just a little bit. Actually, I don't do that. I like the spin on that golf ball. I like to see that little shaving come off there a little bit because I know I'm spinning my golf ball the way it should. Other than that, there are no break-ins to golf clubs. This is Conan Elliott, and that's how to break in new golf clubs.